So now we can put it into its own variable so we can use it a bit better later. So we're going to say text equals dollar underscore post uh, text. That just saves us writing out this dollar underscore post text again and again. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to check if this equals a value. So we don't want to be em uh, inserting empty values into our database. We want to be uh, entering at least some text. So I'm going to say if not empty um, and we're going to say text. So we're referencing text into here. And if not empty text, we do something else. I'm going to echo out. Remember, we're echoing out whatever output we get from this update.ink.page. We're update. Up Sorry, we're outputting it into our message div down here. So we can we can give error messages to the user and it will pop up without refreshing the page. This is the whole point of Ajax. It gives you things a lot quicker and without refreshing the page, so it's a lot easier to deal with. So we can say, uh, please type a, um, please type something, for example. Uh, so let's just go ahead and echo our OK here, just so we know what we're doing. Uh, and let's go ahead and submit nothing. Okay, so it says please type something. Now let's insert, oh, type Alex, click submit, okay. So we know that that's working, that's great. Now we can start constructing our query to insert this data into the database and then check whether the query was successful or not. So let's start constructing the query. Uh, this is quite simple. Uh, I have tutorials on this as well, so go back and refer to them if you're, you're stuck on this bit. Uh, we're gonna say insert into and now we choose the table name so if we go back to php my admin we can see the table name is data so we're inserting it into this data table and then we say values and inside of parentheses we're going to supply the amount of values and the values that we want to input so we're going to say two values so we've got two bits of string data here if you like the first one is an ID and it's an auto increment, so we don't need to specify a value, we can keep this blank. What that will do is the database will automatically update it uh, to the next number in line in the increment. But in here, what we need to do is specify this text here. Now we do need to add some level of security, so we need to add, um, we need to basically escape from this string here and append on this text variable, and then we need to append on the rest of the string. Now what we can do is we can use the MySQL real escape string function and enclose that text in that. And the reason we do this is because uh, SQL injection is possible whenever we're allowing a user, um, a user, a dynamic user input uh, going into a query um, can always uh, result uh, potentially in SQL injection. So now we're going to say query underscore run equals MySQL query and then obviously the query uh, string inside of there. So let's just add this into an if statement so we can check if it's worked. So if query run equals MySQL query, what this is going to happen, what's going to happen here, sorry, is this is going to return true if uh, the query was a success. So we can say in here uh, success, else we can say failed. So let's echo failed, oh, not in capitals, it's a bit rude, so failed, and then otherwise here we can say echo um, data inserted, for example, okay? So now let's run back to um, our browser and test this out. So as it stands inside our database, we've got no values in here. So MySQL returned an empty result set, i.e. zero rows. So we've got nothing in, in our database at the moment, or in our table rather. So now I'm just gonna pop my name in there and I'm gonna click Submit. So it says data inserted, so now I can presume that the data's been inserted into the database. Let's go in and let's click on Browse. And you can see that it has in fact inserted this data. Let's go ahead and um, type something else. So we'll type Dale, we'll click Submit. And we get the same message back again. Uh, it hasn't changed, so I presumed that that has just um, re-given me the data inserted very uh, echo. Uh, and yeah, it's inserted more data. So now we can start in, start to insert uh, different data and whatever we want. So there's not really much a, much point to this um, application itself, but hopefully from this tutorial you can go away um, with your knowledge now of the post um, the post data or posting data using Ajax uh, as opposed to using get data. And you can apply it to your own uh, your own uses. 
So we've gone through the Ajax stage of things, we've gone through uh, the HTML and the div, and we've also more importantly gone through the PHP and how we can combine that with Ajax um, and taking our post variable in order to post a value to the database or insert a value into a database.